So today, during the live stream, something happened, and you might be able to tell just by looking at my shoulder there. Yeah, we uh, we may have or may not have completed a very specific type of vault run during the live stream. And of course, I want to show you that. I really want to show you it. You, you guys have to watch. Check this out. It, it, it was it was such a fun run, uh, but stressful at the same time. All right. May the vault cake gods be on our be ever in our favor. Uh, journey gilded luckier. And the first room we get is white. Oh, thank goodness cake. How many cakes? 27. Why? Why is it always so high with me? Thirty-seven. Here it is. Thirty-three. So it's probably over here. I wish that uh, show. Oh, right here. I wish that showed up as like a, a title instead of uh, showing up in your bar there. It's under the train. Found it. Boom. Twenty two away, probably on the second. Oh, right there. There it is. Woo, twenty one. You got to be kidding me. Woo. Don't really see myself completing all 27 like this, but okay. Oh my God. Eighteen. Is there like a chance? Cause I feel like I've always gotten 27. Is it always 27 cakes? Seven more cakes to find. 16 meters. Oh, 23. Believe in yourself. At this point, like I've got to run it to the end. 23, 24. Oh boy. 12. Thirteen. Oh my God. One more cake and we've completed a cake vault. What first cake vault? 27 of them. No way seven it's right there oh my god we've done it we've done it crew we have done it oh not without you guys' encouragement i wouldn't have done it cake crates yes i've done a cake vault Oh, and you guys watched every moment of it. It was a piece of cake. Oh my God. This is so good. I love this. Ah, could have done it without you stream. <laughs> oh, they're better. I, it's the whole crates full of cakes, isn't it? It's just full of cake. Oh God. I bet that's the meme. It's just full of cake. Well, <laughs> ah, 900 IQ. All right, what's in the cake crate? Cake, mm, very good cake. And we got this, something good. Oh, one we already have. Everything else though, 
A bunch of cake. <laughs> and look, we got a cake crate. We got a cake crate. It's so, so party. It's cake-tastic. Beautiful. All right, and I know, I know that that run also got us some good stuff. Six vault diamonds. Six vault diamonds. And uh, trades, a bunch of traders. And two echo. That was actually a pretty, pretty decent run, I would, I would have to say. That was very lucrative, actually. Now, I have showed you guys a lot of stuff from this pack. And of course, after running that cake vault, there's not a whole lot that we haven't done yet. I think the one thing we haven't done is an ancient's vault where we have to, where we have a chance of, of getting an ancient, which is basically an eternal, but it's a, a super beefy eternal. Um, but yeah, I've, I've kind of showed a lot of this pack, but there is a, a something that we haven't really touched on and that's cosmetics. Now I was taking a look at all of the armor crates that we have the ability to make. And these are going to give us cosmetic armor basically. Similar to that, like Iskal piece, the little, uh, the little lens. Um, it's it's similar to that, uh, except these are incredibly expensive for the most part, except for one, and that is immersive engineering. And just like immersive engineering was for me, it feels way cheaper than everything else, considering these require black opal, and like we could make a test dummy set, but it requires a pog. This requires a pog, 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 like. A lot of stuff requires pogs, but the immersive engineering set does not. And I don't know what any of these look like, but I do want to uh, take a little dip into this and I want to see if we can't craft some. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, one thing we're gonna need is echo. Now, thankfully I do have 30 echo and six echo, or we do have quite a bit of echo. Uh, and this has been building up because after you hit level 100 or so, Echo kind of starts dropping like candy. Um, now, the one thing we're going to need is treated wood. Uh, so emeralds uh, will be kind of nice for us to grab. Um, and we should be able to pull enough out of this villager. There we go. That should be plenty. I don't think I just keep this stuff laying around for no reason. Um, so there we go. And I mean, all we need is Pandora's boxes, which I have quite a few. I have 97 Pandora's boxes because I did just go through and I started working on all of my cores. I uh, kind of cleaned up my vendors and everything. So everything's looking pretty good. Uh, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and craft four of these for right now because I don't know if they can roll duplicates. Ooh, mod armor crate. We just completed a challenge. And I'm pretty sure that that is a challenge. One of the... Uh, thing right here mod armor tabs that is one of the sets Ooh, it's gonna kind of have like a tin head looking thing from what i can see so it says fill one set we have one of four even though we don't i guess pop that and we got vault leggings pop this vault leggings don't do this to me don't do this to me no all of them were leggings? You're kidding me. The, <laughs> why? Why would you do this to me? I mean, I do love the set that I currently have, but come on. Okay, there's the chest. There's another chest. Another chest. Another pants. A helmet. Okay, I've got to complete this set. Boots. C don't, don't make me go through all my echo. No. Full set. Oh, thank goodness. That was too expensive. I mean, I went ahead and prepped up all of the stuff that was required for this. But my goodness. Um. Okay. Uh. <laughs> We have a full set. And by the way, this is vanity armor. So, oh my, I'm kind of excited to see what this looks like on. Um, but before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and trash these because apparently these can't be used anywhere else. They just get turned into trash. Uh, 
Yeah. So, I mean, I'm, you know what? I'm going to put one on an armor stand for sure. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess I can do everything but the boots, right? Oh, so let's see what this looks like. Put the helmet on. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. What? We're going to look epic. Look how big the head is. Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. Okay. This is going to be cool. What? We look like a little robot. This is adorable. I love this. I love this vanity set. This is so good. Now, here's the thing. Can I use this set? Uh, not just yet. Not just yet. I, I can't put it on my current. I mean, I could put it on my current armor, but I don't really want to put it on my current armor. At the moment, my chess piece is the part of this particular set here. And so I don't have a copy of it. Or do I? Um, I could actually make another random chess piece. I think I can make it look like this. You know what? I could do that. Let's see. That would actually be really nice. I need a, a just a random chess piece. I need bronze. I've not actually done it this way around. Um, actually platinum. We have, I have all of my stuff turned into platinum. We've quite a bit of platinum. Uh, let's get all of that. And we need a stack of this. Now, if I put this in here and this, it's not going to remove this armor, is it? Uh, it's not going to do anything to this armor, right? No, it still stays there. Okay, so good. Oh, good. Can We can actually switch our armor now. So long as I had a piece, I just need to make sure I have a piece of this. Because I don't have the boots of this set. I just wanted to make sure I had the full set. Ah, good. Okay, so we are going to be switching to the robot. Oh boy, this is going to be cool. So yeah, I've got to do the same thing where I basically take the full set and I just transmog until I get my full set done. This is, I mean, I know this is all cosmetics, but come on, it's its super cool. This is, this is really, really cool. My armor has now been successfully changed and I couldn't, I, this is just too, it may, kind of makes me look like a tiny little robot with how big the head is. But no, that's just, that's just how big the mask is. Look, look at what it looks like. I'm like in a mech suit. It's just so cool. Totally in a mech suit. Oh, this is awesome. And like, all of this is just cosmetic. I, you know what? I'm a, I'm, I'm kind of a, a little fan of, of cosmetic stuff. I, I love this. So I was looking into things and I was saying, what mod could we potentially unlock next? And what do I have and could I potentially unlock one next? We've ran several vaults and we've gathered several vault diamonds. So I was wondering, could we unlock a mod today? And the answer to that is actually, yes, <laughs> we actually could. Uh, we could potentially, we have enough to do nine uh, research points. We could go dark utilities. We could go mining gadgets. We could even go dimensional storage. I was thinking that I should probably try out maybe mining gadgets. Um, and the reason I say this is this might help. I don't know. Like, it, it, I need two different things. I need something to help me in the vaults. And I need stuff to help me outside the vaults. And I just don't know if Dark Utilities has one item that can help me in the vaults um, at a cost. Whereas mining gadgets can void items and I can use this as a mining tool to mine at a distance, collect the items, it should bring them to me, and it should be able to void any item that is not the item that is currently in my blacklist or whitelist. And it's actually fairly cheap to create this item. So I was thinking I should probably look into this. I think we should definitely unlock mining gadgets. That sounds like a really cool and fun thing to do. It's going to give us a laser. What better thing to go with our, our mech suit than a razor, a razor, a laser. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We're going to be, we're going to be pew pew and real soon in the vaults. I feel it. So let's do this knowledge stars. I'm all knowledge up, you know, knowledge. <laughs> I still find it funny that, that there's, there's just a fair few. Very few people that totally get that reference. 
Ah, oh, man. The early days of YouTube YouTube advertising. Oh, my gosh. All right, mining gadgets. Uh, do, do I want this or do I want to? I don't know. Do I want my mining gadgets to be so nice in there? But Dark Utilities provides so much utility outside with, like, item transportation and mob transportation. And it has... Oh, the gluttony charm, which allows me to eat so much faster. And the mining gadgets is over here smiling at me going, Hey, I could help you out in the vaults, you know, by getting more or potentially. <sighs> Man, both of these are rough. And then I, we also have the power mods up here. Um, not our tools power. I, I think I mentioned this in the past, like to get this, but no, you don't need our tools power. To do a lot of the power stuff with our tools. Uh, that's like a separate mod. Um, man. I've really got to think this over. So yeah, after, after doing some deliberation. After doing some deliberation here. I have figured out exactly what I want to do. And that is definitely mining gadgets. I, no turning back now. Mining gadgets has been researched. That's what we're going with. I Let's get to upgrading this thing. So first of all. Uh, for mining gadgets, it is uh, interesting. We get a choice of three different lasers uh, that we can choose from. All of them do the same thing, right? They're just three cosmetically different lasers. And I really like this one that kind of looks like a drill. This is the bigger of them. Uh, this one's kind of smaller and this one's really small. Uh, these were all like textures that were redone. Um, it is going to require some Beniatite, which is kind of nice. Other than that, this is actually a really cheap uh, mod to get into. Like, all the upgrades and everything that you use the modification table for are pretty cheap. This is just going to require some tools to get into. Let's do the MK3. You know, it really doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter too much. Let's do MK3. I should have everything I need. Bam. And we've made the MK3. Now, this does need power. By default, it can mine. Very simply, I'm going to throw this in here. It's going to just completely devastate our power here. But that's fine. We have plenty to give it. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, by default, it will uh, mine out some blocks. So weird. That was glitched out. Um, so, yeah, it can mine. Oh, it can also... Wow, it works with vein mine? That was an unintended thing. I didn't realize it could work with vein mine. But, yeah, it can technically... It mines uh, pretty fast with a one by one. Just like that, so you can see the animation. I mean, it's actually a pretty fast pick on its own. And we haven't even put it into the modification table to modify it. Right? Um, so you put it in here, I believe. And then right here, you click to remove upgrade, shift click to insert into the slots. So we have upgrades, and they're all right here. And they are going to, I'm assuming, getting progress. Oh, wow, these are default recipes, basically. Oh, I thought they were going to start using compressed blocks, but no. Okay, so one thing I definitely want is the void junk, for sure. We want to definitely be able to void out as much as possible. Actually, I think this has a different function um, on the void. So I put this in here and I, I click this in. Um, I need to figure out what the hotkey is for this. So I went ahead and uh, set mine to G. That makes the most sense. But right here we have whitelist or blacklist. Ah, yes. This is going to be perfect. So all I need to do, I guess, is get a silk touch modifier on here. So silk touch. Um, and then we just want to whitelist all the vault ores, right? That would totally make sense. Just, just whitelist vault ores. And we shouldn't have to worry about anything else. This should be like a way to specifically mine for vault ores, right? Gosh, I'm going to find out. So I think this is going to work. I am charging this thing up. This thing requires a lot of power. It can hold up to 10 million RF at the moment. Uh, but these are the upgrades. So I put the upgrade here and it does cost. Uh, when you see the upgrade cost here, it does come at a cost um, of uh, power per use. So uh, per block cost is 335 RF per block, I believe to break um, and it becomes at a cost of all these upgrades. So we do have a, a magnet upgrade, which should bring the blocks directly into my inventory, um, which I may or may not want this. We may end up removing this depending on how this actually works. 
if it does go into our tanks, which it should, I, I just don't know. Um, and then we have the battery, which allows us to use some of these upgrades. Um, we have the range, which uh, I definitely need. Um, and then we have the uh, the mining radius. Now, I don't have efficiency on here just yet because I don't know if I'm really going to need it. Um, we'll see. I'll, I'll see how powerful this thing is here in just a second. Um, but what we're going to notice is while I'm using this and uh, while it's activated, let's open this up and we can go into three by three. Uh, you can edit visuals, by the way, and I can I can change the colors of the inner and outside. I have it right red and blue right now. You can make it fade blocks, shrink blocks, if you really wanted to. Um, but a three by three, it's gonna mine like this, and you can see all the garbage being collected. Like, I may need to put some efficiency on here, because depending on the block, like right now, you can see this uh, this issue it's having. That is, I believe, a bug with it, but it's going. It's just voiding everything. Um, let's see if I mine this, because this is on my list. And it goes into our inventory. Um, how does it work if I, let's say, have my danks? Because I know I have ore in my danks. And let's go ahead and try this coal, because it's on my list. And it goes into my danks. Perfect. So yeah, that goes right. Oh man, this is gonna be great. The only thing we need to do now is get efficiency upgrades on this bad boy. Oh boy, this is going to be... This is going to be fast. Yeah, it definitely needs that efficiency to be able to mine faster. So moment of truth. I've got to test this out. I've got to be able to test all of this out and uh, see what we can actually uh, do with this tool. Hopefully it works in the vault. I would be really upset if I spec into mining gadgets and it doesn't actually work in the vaults. I will I will cry a little. I'll shed a little tear, you know, and I, I honestly don't know what I'll do. <laughs> I feel like I wasted so many vaults and like, oh man, because we have no real utility for this outside of the vaults. <sighs> I was reading. It looked like it's used in the vaults. I could be wrong, though. All right. Um, all of this should work. We have our inventory use. Um, I've got to figure out where to put all this stuff. <laughs> it's, it's funny you guys get to see a little bit of the behind the scenes of like all the things that I have to do to prep for just a singular vault run. It's kind of nutty. All right, let's clear set on vault. And let's do this. By the way, this is gonna be a plentiful, fatiguing, gilded, poisonous, and crowded vault. And may the vault gods be with us. I'm going to actually get rid of the Terra Shatter. We don't need it at the moment. That might actually replace our Terra Shatter. That'll be our ultimate mining tool. And let's do this. Wow, okay, uh, nice. Right off the bat, we get graced with this room, um, and we have plenty of stuff to be able to complete this. Very, very beautiful room. Let's do pinks first, and then yellows, doo -doo -doo, and one green, which is really nice, because I have three of them, and we might be able to get more. I don't know why I slowly mine over here. Like, it's not like I'm gonna break through it or anything. Well, I guess I could break through that. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and throw all of this. Wow. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. Okay. I'm happy with that though. Uh, now to test this out. Let's see, I can't test my mining gadget out yet, but let's go ahead and mine up all of these and hope for the best. Maybe we'll test it out in the next room. So yes, I will be able to test it out in this little environment here. So I should be able to mine out everything. Like it's not gonna mine the chest as well. This tool is going to be, oh, it works. It just, you know, me using it, it works. And me knowing it works means that we are going to straight up destroy rooms. Oh, because it voids everything except for Voltors. We're gonna straight up just destroy anything that comes into our way. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. Oop, our first obelisk, even though not super filling this as a uh, obelisk run, but we'll see how it goes. 
This is just insane. I can just annihilate these underground areas now and just get all of the, uh, all of the ore that may reside down here. I definitely have a feeling this is going to be a little bit of a vault game changer. Like this totally changes the way I run vaults. Um, like going up and down in space, like is now incredibly easy. Like I like super easy. <laughs> like if only we had a way to like instantly bork chests, like to completely get rid of them. Not a thing though. Not that I know of anyways. But yeah, I can actually open these up. Like I can, I can grab all the blocks. I do need a way to maybe grab compressed blocks, maybe very specific compressed blocks. Uh, Cause that is the one thing that uh, currently does not get taken. Like, look at this. I'm able to bust in these bumblebees. Take the ore. The ore does go into the backpack. Oh, that is awesome. Unfortunately, it doesn't break hives. That is a weird thing for it not to break. A little rooms like this, it can just like completely chew through. <laughs> Underwater obelisk. Very nice. These rooms right here are actually one of the reasons why I really wanted to make this. Because I can I can chew through these like pillar areas. Um, some of the rooms are of course way denser than this. But that's gonna that's gonna really change the way this works. I wonder if this makes it any easier. Just chew through some tree leaves to grab the chests. Huh. Now that you mention it. <laughs> Might make it a little easier. It's gonna really change the way that this works. Wow, that's fast. And the good thing about this is it voids it all. It straight up voids it. Like it don't get better than that. There's another obelisk. Oh, another obelisk. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't intending on beating the boss, but it may happen. There's another obelisk right up here as well. Okay, well, one more obelisk to find. We have a few minutes to do so. And I literally just found the last obelisk. Okay, well, you know what? I'm in the mood. I kind of want to, uh, to fight this guy. Kind of, kind of want to fight them, um, but these mobs are really going to be causing some problems. All right, let's do this. I just hope it doesn't teleport like down below or anything like that. That would be really unfortunate, but I think we got it. I think we, for the most part, yeah, we got this boss. Not an issue at all. So good. And with that, let's check our boss crates. And we got some stew. Ooh, very nice. And four mod boxes. Uh, so we can always throw these. Apparently, these can be used though to make seals of the architect. So don't necessarily want to eat all of these. Definitely will be saving, saving quite a few of them for future endeavors. So after all of the fun and games and shenanigans in a new way to run vaults that I still have to get used to, I mean, we managed to get quite a few things. Look at the statues and trader cores that we got from that run. That was fantastic. Vault goodies, we got five vault diamonds. By the way, I should see, according to this update that I'm on, I should see more vault diamonds in gilded chests after the apparently they start happening after level 100 so uh we should be able to see more vault diamonds hopefully coming soon Whew, we replenished our echo gems we got four echo that run that was insane uh not a whole lot of ore but we did get a nice variety of ore which was really really nice and this was a plentiful run so guys that was absolutely fantastic today has been quite a crazy day i've had a lot of fun and uh, with all the beeps and boops that I keep hearing, I think it's about time for me to end today's episode. And of course, thank the sponsor of today's video. And uh, that is going to go to none other than 
a huge thanks to Big Easy 4 Thank you so much for your amazing support, by the way, over on the Discord, becoming a Discord Premium member. And of course, guys, if you're interested in popping on my Discord, all you gotta do is go on to discord.gg forward slash chosen architect. Super easy to get there. All you gotta do is pop on there and just, just say something to chat, say hi. And it's a great way to get started in a conversation. Um, and of course, be sure to check me out on Twitch. I do live stream over at twitch.tv forward slash chosen architect. So if you would give me a follow over there, and if you're in the following mood, be sure to check me out over on Twitter. Uh, I do post some interesting stuff on Twitter fairly often. So be sure to check that out. And guys, I hope to see you in the next episode. Of course, as always, thanks for watching. Beep, beep, beep.